in this module we would be trying to understand the application of mudaraba in islamic deposits or islamic investment accounts normally we don't call mudaraba based accounts as deposits hence the better term is islamic investment accounts so mudaraba based islamic investment accounts they are actually uh, a central product in the context of islamic banking on what we call liability side and we would look into it in some details profit sharing investment accounts hain kya so profit sharing investment accounts they are based on the concept of mudaraba and the use of mudaraba as a mode of financing okay isme financing hoti nahi hai lekin as a mode of finance mudaraba use ho raha hota hai so there are two types of profit sharing investment accounts used by islamic banks around the world unme se ek hai restricted profit sharing in investment account aur dusra hai unrestricted profit sharing investment account in case of restricted profit sharing investment account the bank restricts itself to certain activities in which it invests the money coming from profit sharing investment account in case of unrestricted profit sharing investment accounts the bank doesn't specify any activity rather it has the liberty of using the money collected through profit sharing investment accounts into any legitimate activity which the bank is allowed to undertake so there are two types of profit sharing investment accounts restricted and unrestricted how restricted profit sharing investment accounts work first thing the bank offers the profit sharing investment accounts to general public jab aap kisi bank mein jaate hain to wahan likha hota hai ki ji hum profit sharing investment accounts offer karte hain aap bank ki website pe jayenge udhar bhi likha hoga so that is actually deemed as offer of profit sharing investment accounts अब ये जो प्रॉफिट शेयरिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट अकाउंट्स होते हैं इनके टर्म्स एंड कंडीशंस आर वेरी वेल नोन दे आर मेड अवेलेबल टू द जनरल पब्लिक कोई भी ऑफर टर्म्स एंड कंडीशंस के बगैर उसकी कोई हैसियत नहीं है तो द बैंक मेक्स अ टर्म्स एंड कंडीशंस ऑफ प्रॉफिट शेयरिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट अकाउंट्स नोन टू द जनरल पब्लिक आइदर बाय वे ऑफ पुटिंग दोज पी on their website or displaying in branches or giving the pamphlets and brochures to the people who would like to open a profit sharing investment account so with the offer the terms and conditions must be made available to the prospective profit sharing investment account holders now once the general public is made aware of the terms and conditions and they decide to open an account uh, then uh, of course an open is uh, an account is opened and uh, they agree to certain other terms and conditions as well in case of restricted profit sharing investment accounts the bank makes it available for the profit sharing investment account holders to know that where their money would be going to for example the bank can always say that the money thus collected in the form of profit sharing investment accounts would be used in car financing by the bank so ye specific activity ho gayi if that is the case then the bank would not be allowed 
to use the money thus collected in any other banking activity ye ho gaya teesra point uske baad ye hai ki account jab aap kholte hain to us waqt bank aapko ek indicative rate of return batata hai which is not guaranteed remember in case of mudaraba we said that the the capital cannot be secured and the return cannot be guaranteed in this case when the bank is offering mudaraba based profit sharing investment accounts the bank only indicates that we may be able to generate a return of 10% 12% this is not guaranteed it's only indicative so this is very important an indicative rate of return after understanding the terms and after having been satisfied with the terms and conditions the profit sharing investment account holders they open the account the money from the profit sharing investment accounts is then pooled in what is called a mudaraba pool okay and the money from mudaraba pool is then used for financing of a specific activity as i said it could be car financing we would look into distribution of profit in case of profit sharing investment accounts in our next segment once the activity in which the money from mudaraba pool has been invested generate some profit that profit is distributed amongst the profit sharing investment account holders according to the pre agreed profit distribution ratio and of course on a pro rata basis in certain cases the mudaraba pool may have contribution from the shareholders of the bank i e the money may come into mudaraba pool from shareholders equity in which case the shareholders of the bank would also be receiving their respective share in the profit generated by the investment activity financed by the mudaraba pool let us exemplify this thing with the help of some numerics in this example we are showing one individual account holder who puts only 1 dollar into his uh, profit sharing investment account the total money shown in the mudaraba pool is 1 million which means that you know, a number of profit sharing investment account holders have actually put the money into this mudaraba pool this money which is shown here that is actually the money contributed by the shareholders of the bank so this money has come from shareholders uh, equity so 1 million is the total size of the mudaraba pool which is used uh, for example in car financing so all that 1 million is extended to the those people who were looking for financing of cars and if this activity generates profit of 250000 so this mudaraba pool actually then generates a return of 25% so this is the return generated by the mudaraba pools investments let's see what happens next ab ye jo 250000 ka jo profit hai that is the profit of the mudaraba pools investment and this money would then be divided amongst all those who contributed to the mudaraba pool the profit distribution ratio between the bank management and the holders of profit sharing investment account holders is 50 50 right so which means this gross profit of 250000 would be divided between the bank 
125,000 going to the bank and 125,000 would be distributed amongst the profit sharing investment account holders. Now, the indicative rate of return was 10 percent. However, profit sharing investment account holders, they get a return or they face a return of 13.88 percent, which is more than the indicative rate of return. So, the bank would actually be putting only 90,000 in the form of distributable profit and the remaining 35,000 that would go into an excess pool. This would make sure that this one person who put one dollar into his profit sharing investment account would get 10 percent return, which is equal to the indicative rate of return. Now, next time, if the profit generated by the Mudaraba pools investments was only 150,000, in this case, bank's share would be 75,000, profit sharing investment account holders share would be 75,000, which is a rate of return of 8.33 percent, which is less than the indicative rate of return of 10 percent. In this case, the bank would get 15,000 from the excess pool, 75,000 has been generated in the form of profit this time anyway. This would make this amount 90,000, which would be distributed amongst the profit sharing investment account holders, which is actually the 10 percent rate of return equal to the indicative rate of return as displayed by the bank in the public domain. Now, there are different practices of profit sharing investment accounts. In certain countries, unrestricted profit sharing investment accounts as well as restricted profit sharing investment accounts are offered by the banks. There are no restrictions on the banks. In certain countries, only restricted profit sharing investment accounts can be offered by the bank. So, depending on which jurisdiction an Islamic bank is operating, they would offer either a restricted profit sharing investment account or an unrestricted profit sharing investment account. But whatever be the choice, one thing is for sure that these accounts would be based on the concept of mudaraba. So, this is one application of the concept of mudaraba in the context of Islamic banking.